Hello everyone, welcome to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about a common problem faced while dealing with YTD level data. In this video, we will solve this particular problem with few DAX tricks and some Power Query transformation. Check it out. As you can see on your screen, we have this YDD data coming from the data source each month. The problem with such data is we will not be able to directly analyze this data for any further calculations. This is cumulative sales amount, and each period here is showing the current month and all previous month sales from start of the year, for example, the July 2022 sales amount here is actually the total sales amount till July 2022. You may try to plot this data in a line chart or any other visual, but there is no chance you can analyze the monthly values. One more problem with this data is there is no proper date column which can be referenced for any kind of time intelligence calculations. With that let's jump into the Power Query Editor and transform the period column to a proper date column. It will be required to change the start of the month to end of the month because these sales amounts are given for complete month and not for the start of the month only. And in this case, if ever we try to calculate something on end of the month, you may get blank results. Using end of the month will provide you same value at least for each date of that month. We will now add here a calculated column using DAX. This particular DAX expression will calculate the difference between the current period YDD value and the immediate previous period YDD value, which in result is nothing but the monthly value for that month. Here we will be using earlier function. But in some case, for better performance, you can create another variable to store the current date context and use inside the calculate function. We are returning just the previous period YDD value in the current month, just to show you as it is referring the previous period properly. Calculating the difference between current month YDD and previous month YDD.
we will write a condition here not to calculate previous period for January month. Because maybe in your data you also have previous year values. And for month of January, monthly or YDD, both are same and we don't want to refer previous year's value there. Now we have monthly granularity and a proper date column, with that we can start our analysis and visualizations. This will be helpful to analyze when you have such data for many years, and now you want many time intelligence calculations. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified for such interesting solutions on Power BI.